welcome back to my channel if you're new here it's Tina again <laughs> uh, so anyway <laughs> getting delirious at this point but um, I am headed to drop off some packages and then I'm going to pick up my friend and we are headed to a rummage sale it's an afternoon rummage sale I don't think I've ever been here before uh, not sure if they've ever even had it before but anyway it's always fun to go check out something new <laughs> so let's hope to fill an ikea bag guys fingers crossed <laughs> let's go check it out here we go hi everybody hi it's nice and cool down there <laughs> oh people are running Stuff to you for you to sell somewhere else. Oh, what? What? You're taking everything nobody else is gonna have a chance? Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. Oh, we got a longer burger piece. Kind of junky looking. through here real quick. Oh, I can see them up there. Those are nice, but I am not putting those in my bag right now. Oh my gosh. Look at these, look at these little fairy lamps. The one has some chips, but I'm taking it. I'm taking it anywhere. Oh. I don't know if this is Fenton or not. I'm gonna hang on to it for a couple minutes. I need something to pad my bag. Oh, that's a nice set down there. Oh my goodness, clothing, clothing, clothing. $3 each, it looks like it's all new with tags too. It is all new with tags. Maybe not. All right, I wanna look at other stuff first. But it would be nice to pad my bag. put that there. I have to put this somewhere though. Oop. First casualty. Swellers, that lady at the counter. That's why sometimes you can't tell people what you do. OMG, what is this? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. I'm looking at it right now to try to figure it out. Well, I'm going to get it. Ooh. There's a dead fly there. Look at that guy. Ooh. 
Yuck. I don't know if they're going to let me hold this up here, but I'm going to try. Is it possible for me to leave this on the steps? Because it's so, grab it from the bottom, it's just so heavy to carry around. And can I leave this too? Thank you. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Excuse me, sorry. Right. We're back at it here. Our harness. That goes to the thing I just bought. Oh my god. I just noticed it. Yeah. Foaming hand wash. Mm. Hey, how's it going? Let's go here. Yeah. <laughs> This area, it's on this crowded. Oh boy. Oh, these Hallmark things are all the same. There's only one of them that's really good. This place is. Heck. What? What the heck? Look at this thing. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, this thing will show up. Oh, that one actually works. Yeah. And now it won't. It. Now it won't stop working. Right here. I got look at mine at home. I turned it off, and it's still like oh, it won't. Still on. It won't stop. <laughs> All right. Somebody brought a pen. I have to go look at it. I can stick my finger in the back. It's still. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's underneath. Underneath the, the mouth. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah, did you hear me making all the making all the noise? <laughs> I couldn't shut it up. Oh, man. This place is wild. Wild. Yeah, we'll grab this. It's been open, but it looks complete. My little cat, I don't want him to get stolen. You smile adapter. I don't know if anyone needs one of those, but. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get something. I could be sick. Yep. Yeah, you gotta look under the table here. Uh, populated aisle. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna go back and look at these clothes. Seems like nobody's looking at the clothes. Oh. oh. Did you get 
I do like that set down there. Mm. I don't know how much it is, but all right, let me, let me see what we got going on back here. What are these? For delicious. For delicious. These look like. These look. Well, it's a men's. We'll get that. You should try to put this cat in the bag. Cat's not out of the bag. Cat's in the bag. All right. We got some some of these. Three dollar clothing pieces. This place is wild, though. I can't believe how crowded this place got. These are like kids' uniform pants. Oh, uh, you know what though? School is uh, coming up, and people do have to wear uniforms. So maybe I'm gonna grab these. Grab the Eddie Bauer. These are iron knee jeans. Uh, Eddie Bauer school. We'll get those. People need school uniforms. Ugh. All right. Back into the public over here. What is this? Dance skin. Sorry. Wait, that's okay. Oh, I didn't see the shoes under the table. Yeah, there's something. Oh, it's just a tie. Okay, well, nothing fantastic. This aisle. I don't think I went up this aisle. Hey. Actually, maybe I'm gonna go from this side. It's open. I really hope that Disney thing isn't total trash. It looked okay, but then I found the one piece in the other box. A bunch of books. Excuse me. But I did glance over this way. Oh, let's see, we have oil filters. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this place is nuts. It did, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna check on out of here. I have to find my friend. And uh, yeah, I think I think we're done here. I think we are. All right, guys. So let's get into this church rummage sale haul. I am actually filming this. Uh, like a week, a little over a week later, I'm filming the haul finally. Um, so yeah, this was a new to me church rummage sale. Um, will I go back? I don't 
think so. I really, I mean, I, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I have been to a lot of rummage sales and this was probably one of the most crowded rummage sales that I have ever been in. I mean, talk about a sardine can. It was just, it was hard to get up and down some of those aisles. Um, anyway, let's get into what I bought. The prices were pretty good. <sighs> now that I'm actually, it's like a week or so later, I honestly can't even remember what I paid for most of this stuff. But luckily everything I think is marked, almost everything. Uh, okay, and I probably said it in the video, but I did not even edit the first part of this yet until after I filmed this haul. I don't know. Anyway, this is what I got. Um, also, it was not very reseller friendly. Uh, I'm not sure if I caught it in the beginning of the video, but one of the one of the workers was yelling at a couple who like was grabbing a bunch of jewelry. Um, she said, you can't buy that to resell or something to that effect. So anyhow, let's get into this haul. All right, I'm not sure why I'm whispering. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's been another long weekend. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday when I'm filming this haul. Anyway, I got this Hercules Man of Myth figure set. It has been opened, but give it a whirl. It was $2. This thing was pretty funny. This cat... I'm not going to turn it on here, but I did turn it on there, um, which was in the video, the shopping, shopping portion. And this guy would not stop even after I turned him off. So the brand on this thing is, I thought maybe it was Jemmy, but actually I don't even see a brand on here. I don't know what this is. Oh wait, there, there we go. Pan Asian Creations Limited. I don't know, but someone is going to like this. For Halloween. I would say it's probably going to be like, it's falling, maybe like a $20 item plus shipping. Uh, and he, I think he was $2. This was $2. It's a VTech V-Smile pocket car adapter. Someone might need that. It's new in package. All right. Then I got some glassware. These were so cheap, which is crazy to me. So this is um, a Fenton custard glass fairy lamp hand painted with some roses it's a little dirty it also has roughness in here it's got a melted candle inside i mean this has overall wear it's got a nick out of here and look at that price 50 cents 50 cents how can you say no i actually got two of them the other one is right here this one is kind of Kind of in the same condition honestly it's got the rough the rough edges the candle i mean it needs a good washing i might just throw them up in auction which i don't typically do but um since they do have a lot of wear and a lot of issues i might throw them up in auction for like 10 bucks a piece and see where they go they're also not uh, as decorated as some of the others these this is what are you um i sell this brand all the time bordalo bordalo pinero that's what it is um these are candlesticks i paid three a piece for these not sure if that was a good buy i i don't know we'll see but anyway very beautiful very beautiful so that makes it six bucks for the pair We'll see what happens. All right. Do I have anything else? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, this little guy, I just thought was super cute. This unicorn, um, it was a dollar. I'm almost wondering if this is uranium glass. Now it is marked, does anybody know possibly the maker of this? I'm going to Google image search it, but it is marked with an M. If you look at it that way, if you turn it upside down, it's a W, but it doesn't look like the Westmoreland W. Um, but yeah, I figured for a dollar, I would give that a shot. Have not researched it yet. This is the first time I am even going through this bag. I've had so much other stuff 
to list and process this week and I still have a ton. I'm still working on the stamps. I'm working on toys. I'm working on like puzzles. I'm working on so many different things right now. Uh, it's been a really good, it's been a really good few weeks of sourcing. Uh, so this is a Longaberger Woven Traditions blue measuring cup with the measures inside. This was, what I pay for this? I just saw the tag, $4. $4 on that guy. Uh, oh, I got another glass piece in here. What the heck is this? Oh, another unidentified piece of glass. Um, I just, I liked it. I liked how it's got kind of like the opalescent trim. This was $6. I am not quite sure of the maker on this either, but... It ended up in my bag. All right, I think that might be it for all the discounts. I know you guys love hearing this paper crinkle and my bag crinkle. Um, I did get some flatware for $3. It is NASCO. Um, is that National Stainless? I don't know, NASCO. Kashmir. It's a K A S H M I R. So anyway, I might just lot this together. I usually, I used to be of the mindset to totally part out every bit of flatware that I got. But lately I have been bundling certain sets that seem to sell better as a set or a lot or whatever. I will still part some out, believe me I will, um, when I find the right set. <laughs> um, I actually, I do have a lot of flatware, vintage flatware, that I've been just kind of hoarding and I really need to start listing it very soon. Okay, all right, this is, this is a little wrinkled from being in here. This is 41 Hawthorne. This is a top, I think all their clothes were either three or five a piece, but this is a size large. It's just like a, oh geez. I'm gonna have to steam this thing. It, it It's like a faux leather front and then like a ponty knit back, size large. It's got these cutouts. It was new with tags, so that's why I picked it up. This is a men's polo Ralph Lauren shirt, also new with tags, so that's why I got that. Blue stripe polo shirt. These need to get listed before the start of school. These are Eddie Bauer school pants. Um, for schools that require a uniform, uh, boys size 12, boys size 14. They are uh, very linty from being in this bag. So I need to lint roll them and no, I'm not steaming those in my, my water bottle from the sale still. Um, this is about to topple over. Okay. And then the final thing I purchased was $5 and... This little piece I found on the table. So I think that it goes on it. It's a Disney snow globe. And in most cases, these always have some kind of damage if they're out of the box. Um, and sometimes you have to look at it and look at it and look at it again, maybe five, six, seven times. I should put tape around this. So this is a nice one. I mean, it was $5, so I do know it's got a little bit of damage. Hopefully it doesn't have as much as, as I think it might. Ooh. And it's a little dirty too. I am not, oh, that's where that came from. I think that might be the top finial. So not only, because it looks like the round little dot there. So not only has the glue come off, but it does look like the top is actually chipped. I'm gonna have to find another one just like it for reference, but, it is snow globe, it's a snow globe parade. But I'll tell you, I feel like, I feel like this is all turned around. Like I feel like Tinkerbell should be facing the front of this with, with the stairs, not looking behind, right? Because like the, thing is here for the music why would you want to have her face that like 
if you have her this way, you're looking at her butt. Like, who just wants to be like, oh, you know, nice butt, Tink. I, like, I, I don't know. I, now I'm actually questioning if maybe this entire thing was off at one point and glued back on. And someone glued it, like, backwards? Honestly, I don't know. This, I probably should have left this because it's going to be worth more trouble than I really want it to be, I think. Um, I pass up on a lot of these now just because I don't want to deal with the issues. So anyhow, I'm going to look and see if I can find any others for reference. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It takes batteries too. It winds up. It takes batteries. It, I just don't know about it. Ooh. Now I don't even know how to get it back in here. Oh, I don't think that's it either. That's definitely not it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how to get this thing back in here. Oh, I hate that. I, I definitely don't feel like it's right. Anyhow, I'll figure that out off camera because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here on camera for like five, six minutes trying to figure this stupid thing out. So anyway, that that honestly may go in the garbage or now nah, maybe I'll take it to the flea market with me. I probably will go to the flea market and set up at least one more time this year. I've done it once already. Uh, might do it again. Maybe this will be a flea market item because honestly I don't really want to deal with it uh anyway you win some you lose some so yeah that was that was that sale <laughs> let me know what you guys think of it I just did not really I just really did not enjoy the sale um crazy as that may sound uh but anyway yeah that's gonna wrap it up Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.